friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it's Monday, it's meal prep day. I have three really good recipes for you. One of them I have been making for over a week now and I'm literally obsessed and I can't wait to share it with you. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, I would love to have you here. I do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five days a week. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. Check out the description box down below for my recipe website where you will find all three of today's recipes. Nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. Definitely take advantage of that if you're interested. Links, discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join us on on Facebook, we would love to have you. So let's go ahead and jump in to meal prep. For breakfast this week, I am making egg bites using this cute little contraption over here that is new to my kitchen. So let me show you what is in our veggie egg bites. You're going to need some baby spinach, a zucchini, garlic salt, feta cheese, eggs, any type of milk of your choice. I'm using the Cliffia Farms unsweetened almond milk and this little cutie here. This is from the brand Dash and this is an egg bite maker. So you can see the little individual egg bite cup so it makes it super, super easy to make them. And then this little guy right here is to make breakfast sandwiches. So you can cook your egg, your meat, your veggies all in this little tray right here. And it's the perfect size to go on an English muffin or a bagel. But today we are doing egg bites. I'm actually really excited for these. And this is what the Dash maker looks like. I just bought it off of Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys. We're gonna use it today. It's my first time using it and I'm super excited. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to roughly chop up my spinach and my zucchini and we're going to saute those down so they're cooked before they're actually added to the egg bite. Wash with a my pan warming up on the stove with some non-stick cooking spray. I'm going to add in my chopped up spinach and zucchini and we're just going to allow this to saute down till everything is softened. We're going to get the egg portion of our egg cups put together. I have eight eggs here. I'm just going to crack those into a medium bowl. Then I'm going to add one half of a cup of feta cheese and a splash of almond milk. Give that a quick whisk before adding in the zucchini and the spinach. Here is the sauteed spinach and zucchini. We're going to add that directly to the egg mixture. Whisk that all together and I'm going to start warming up my little dash egg cup maker. I have it plugged in and warming up. The light will turn off once it is warm. I'm going to add some garlic salt to my egg mixture. I almost forgot. And then I pulled out the largest scoop of my cookie scoop pack off of Amazon. And I'm just going to use that to scoop the egg mixture into the egg cup molds. Once we are warmed up, we're going to scoop the egg mixture directly into the little molded cups. I'm not sure how many egg bites we're going to get out of this recipe. We will figure that out when we are out of batter and then figure our points accordingly. I have to say these are absolutely adorable. Now we're going to shut this, clip it closed, and again, allow it to cook until the light turns off. Look at these. Oh my gosh, they are so absolutely adorable and they smell incredible. I am going to let them cool for just a minute, pop out the egg bite. I'm just going to put them here on a plate and then we'll get started on the next batch. I want to show you how easy these pop out. So I just kind of squeeze the side, flip it over and look perfect little egg bites. It looks like we're at Starbucks. 
I did not spray the egg cups either. They are silicone, so it just pops right out. It only took about five minutes or so for them to cook, so it doesn't take very long. This is pretty quick and simple. Great way to get in protein, veggies. The feta cheese just adds a lot of flavor. This is going to be so good as part of my breakfast this next week. Here are the egg bites. These smell so good. I honestly wish it was breakfast and I hadn't eaten already because these smell incredible. I ended up getting 20 egg bites. I will go ahead and put here on the screen the points and calories per egg bite. It's going to be very low. Eggs are zero for me, so really the only thing I have to account for is the feta cheese. But these literally look like Starbucks, maybe even better. Great way to get in some protein and veggies with breakfast. For my lunches this week, I'm making an herbed parsley chicken salad. I'm going to share with you some ways that you can eat this chicken salad. It is very quick and simple and just packed with protein and flavor. So let me show you what you'll need for the recipe. I'm going to use this canned chicken breast from Costco. I'm only going to make up one can. If I run out, I can always whip up another batch because this is so easy. But this canned chicken just makes it super simple. You can use shredded chicken, rotisserie chicken, regular chicken, but I'm going to make my life easy and use the canned. You'll need some pepper, Italian seasoning and onion salt. I'm going to add some fresh green onion, lots of fresh parsley, and some mozzarella cheese. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop up my parsley and my green onions. I just have a little bowl here. I'm going to add them to the bowl. One, two, So I have one of my glass storage containers. I bought these on Amazon. They have really cute wood lids. I'll link them for you guys, but I'm just going to prepare my chicken salad in there. So I drained my can of chicken. I'm going to add it to my container. We're going to smash it with a fork into finer pieces. I forgot to let you know that you'll need some mayonnaise. We are actually out of light mayonnaise, so I'm just going to use regular, but I will include the points for the recipe using the light mayo because it's definitely going to make this a lot less points. But I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of mayo, some Italian seasoning just to give some herbs to the chicken, as well as some onion salt. This is going to serve as the salt. And then I'm going to add in some pepper. And lastly, my fresh parsley and green onions. And then I'm going to mix this all together. And then I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella cheese and give that another mix. Here is the chicken salad. This looks so good. I can smell all of those herbs and that fresh parsley, and that cheese is just going to be the perfect texture to the salad. So my plan is I'm going to serve mine on one of these Parmesan Folio cheese wrap. I used half of a wrap this morning with some eggs for breakfast, and it was really good. I may not even use a whole wrap. I may just do half of a wrap, add some of the chicken salad to the middle. You could also use your low carb tortillas. You could even put this on bread in a lettuce wrap. You can also add in some non-fat Greek yogurt to add a little bit more moisture to the chicken mix. Once it sits in the fridge, it generally soaks up a lot of that mayo and we did only use a tablespoon in the whole batch. If you use light mayo, I would recommend maybe two or three tablespoons or sub in that Greek yogurt. But this is going to be a great lunch. I'll pair this with some fruit, some extra vegetables, and it's a great way to get in lots and lots of protein. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making protein pudding. This is so easy. It is packed with protein. It is so delicious. I make it in my magic bullet. I did buy this off Amazon. I'll link it for you guys. But I'm going to share with you some different protein pudding combinations that you can make. And like I said, it's a great way to get in protein and it is the perfect perfect sweet treat. So what you're going to need is a protein shake of your choice. Some of my favorites are the Fairlife Salted Caramel, the Fairlife Chocolate, and then from Premier, I do like the Vanilla, the Winter Mint, which is a limited edition. It may not even be available anymore, and the Premier Strawberry. That's one we're going to use today. And then you need sugar-free pudding. So I have banana, 
cheesecake, pistachio, and vanilla. So let me share with you a few of my favorite combos before we make up today. So my favorite combination with the Fairlife chocolate is to use banana pudding. It makes like a chocolate banana, but the chocolate is really versatile. You could do it with pistachio, cheesecake, vanilla, really any of the flavors. I think it would be really good with sugar-free butterscotch as well, but I just can't find that in any of my stores. This is the most versatile protein shake flavor. I also love the salted caramel. This one is really good with vanilla and also with cheesecake because it makes like a salted caramel cheesecake, which is delicious. The Premier Winter Mint is really good if you can still find it. My favorite way to do that is with vanilla because the vanilla adds a little more creaminess to the taste of it and really enhances the mint. The Premier Vanilla, if you prefer this over Fairlife, this again goes with pretty much everything. I love the vanilla and the pistachio together, the banana, the cheesecake. I mean, the vanilla really goes with anything. And then the Premier Strawberry. That's what we're going to use today, and we're going to pair that with cheesecake sugar-free pudding and make strawberry cheesecake protein pudding, which I am super excited about. It's so simple, so let's jump into it. So into your blender, your Nutribullet, your Magic Bullet. I like to use a small one because it's the perfect size to make the protein pudding. Go ahead and add whatever protein shake you would like. All I have left in my little jar here is two tablespoons, and you always want to use two tablespoons of sugar-free pudding. One of these little boxes is about four tablespoons, so you can make two batches of protein pudding with it. It's literally it. Pop on the blender bottom and blender up. And look at the consistency of this. It is like creamy, thick, delicious pudding. Go ahead and add it to a bowl or a storage container. You can also add it to a storage container if it's not something that you're going to finish right away. And then what I like to do is top mine with some of this sugar-free Cool Whip, just a couple of tablespoons. It's only 20 calories and it is just such a perfect dessert. I like to throw it in the refrigerator for a little bit. It even helps thicken it up more, but it is literally the simplest, most delicious dessert. And in this particular batch, I have 30 grams of protein. Just try a different protein shake and pudding combinations and definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this recipe. It's one of my all time faves. on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed all three recipes that I shared. I can't wait for you to make them for your family. Of course, they will be on my website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, my Facebook group. Don't forget to come join us. It's such a great community, lots of great ideas, support, and I'm on there all the time, so it's a great way to connect with me as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Monday, have a great week, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.